cool. It seems like it's working. <laughs> I seem to just have issues when it comes to making a video or seeming to capture the video or whatever. And it's important to me because when I do these things, I would like to be able to keep it. Um, unless there's somebody techie out there who's able to explain it, what's happened a couple times when I've tried doing um, videos on Twitter is I've been able to save the, or like it would allow me to download the file, except the audio would be completely crumbled. Um, but that's an aside. So this is just essentially just another test, if we want to call it that. It's a good opportunity for me to share some gratitude because it's been a, a year. Um, well, today's my 40th birthday, and years ago, when I started to allow myself to understand that this is my reality, um, I had a benchmark in the back of my head that, that by the time I turned 40, it would be ideal, um, the, the world would be in, in a much more ideal place and then I can come out comfortably, safely, call it whatever you want. And um, I am multitasking, pardon. Sorry. Cool. So the, um, when, when I started to accept my own reality and, and stop fighting, um, like I said, I, I, I set my 40th birthday in my head as this, this is the day, this is, this, like, that's, that's when Taylor's happening. Like, Taylor was happening for years and years and years, but it's like no more anything else. And that changed abruptly when um, uh, last year, especially a year and a bit ago, where I mentioned in times in the past that I've gone to a clinic at the tail end of 2019, um, and uh, which led to And it led to uh, me starting HRT in February of 2020, and I was still just expecting to potato myself, right? To be still quiet, meek, sitting in a corner doing my thing, but being less miserable by just finally acknowledging my my reality and. Um, Instead, what happened was um, George Floyd's murder in the summer, which changed my path significantly. Um, as summer was going on already, I was getting... It was, like, I'm trying to think of the right emotion. It was, like, it, it was getting to the point where it was becoming overwhelming because the reality was happening, right, where after, you know, going through transition as long as I have. And, like, I'm grateful in significant ways that COVID didn't really change much, right? You know, work from home and still just do my day in pajamas or workout clothes. Can't really argue that. And, um, but, yeah, and then it just became difficult. I was sleeping maybe two hours of sleep a night. Um, and... Uh, yeah, and, 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 and I was getting stressed because of the, the acknowledgement of, okay, here's life. And then you kind of have to tell everyone. And uh, like I alluded to a couple moments ago in, in stories I've told in the past that Floyd's murder changed things dramatically for me because I... Um, um, I needed to do my part. I knew I am a very vocal person and I've always kept my position really quiet because 
I was always looking for a place to be loved, and I didn't want to get into controversy because who would love somebody controversial? Um, but I needed to do my part to stand up and be loud because there was another injustice that happened, and I have the privilege to be able to speak. And the irony of that is by speaking, I lost almost all of my privilege um, with no regrets. This has been the, the, the best year of my life because I've come from a place where I never wanted to wake up. I never wanted to die. I didn't have the courage for that. But I never wanted to wake up. I would have been perfectly fine not waking up. And um, I never did. It was just a grind. It was just existence. How many more days of this bullshit can I deal with type of stuff? And this has been the best year of my life. And so when I came out on my birthday last year, I, um, I was capturing the momentum of the, um, of the world at the time, right? There was massive demands for social justice and, you know, so, like, re like reforms in, in the terms of diversity and equity and inclusion. And, um, I, um, I had to capture that momentum and call out a birthday present to myself, I suppose. And, uh, so when I came out, pardon for two seconds. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. As I was. The, the biggest thing when I came out was first making sure that I had support. Um, and I spoke with close friends to see if they had my back. And they did, which was great. And I didn't need help with the dialogue. I, I, I needed, and I needed, I don't like using the word need often but I needed to know that I had a place to hide in case it went wrong. And they, um, they all offered me fantastic support. And, um, and so the days leading up to my birthday and the day I knew I was going to come out, speaking to a couple of them, and this is back in, back in the life when we were allowed to see people, right? I remember I had dinner with one of my friends to just talk it out and... Then uh, I started writing and I started drafting emails. Sure. <laughs> started drafting emails to send to my uh, to my workplace and uh, three sports leagues that I play out of because those are the most integral parts of my days. Work, obviously, work. Um, who ultimately was very welcoming. I'm not going to lie, there's still some opportunities. And I also know my battles. I'm not saying I'm done, but I know my battles. And I know what I'm going against. And um, there will be an affirmation for, for growth, right? And like I said, I, I just I, I pick and choose my battles accordingly. And um, Sports was critical for me because sports is a, um, a cornerstone to, like, society, right? It's such a foundation for, for culture, no matter where you are. And to be direct and say that, like, I, I, I don't want to hide this because I can't. I, um... I'm a good athlete, and I know it'll stand out. And I wanted to help advance that the visibility that trans athletes are valid. 
and I got great support from the leagues. Um, unfortunately, one of the leagues I play out of is just struggled as a byproduct of COVID, but more on board, you know, if things were fine. And, um, and just how things have advanced since, right, to be um, involved um, on just in the, the amount that I've been involved with sports and knowing the foundation that it's creating is, is utterly fantastic. And that, that's, that was a project of mine out of the gate and hardly close to done. Hardly close to done. Hardly close to done. But I'm not quitting either, because it's quite an adventure. And um, to well, energy period. Anyone who knows me knows, and that entire sequence of events has brought some amazing friends into my network that are just outstanding people who i um, grateful to be able to, to spend digital time with, even if it's like Zoom calls and just chit chats or whatever. It's, it's, it's utterly fantastic to have that commonality and to, uh, to share goals and excitement and birthday wishes that just comes up, right, and utterly fantastic, and it's an adventure, and it's a wonderful bonding experience that we've all had a, uh, something we can take as a notch in our belt, and there's so much more still underway, right, that for my, my name and my visibility to have relative credibility to raise awareness to organizations of you know hey this is failing fix it and it's addressed um meaningfully and um and, and to even be out and about just grabbing a coffee and for someone to be like are you taylor right to know that i'm recognized is um it's lovely i like to um i like to say that i'm changing lives and uh and, and and doing the best that i can to share my lived experience with um with the people around me if um i have lots of gratitude if if i had any regret it's not doing this sooner but i also know i wouldn't be who i am without going through the path that I have. If I came out at 20, who knows what my foundation would have been like. I would have been a totally different person. Um, but this has been the best year of my life. And the best birthday present that I ever gave to myself was not hiding anymore. So for anyone who manages to watch this, if you're in that position, stop hiding. Just stop hiding. Nothing is ever that bad to make it worth hiding. End of story. If you know my journey, it's a ride. It's a ride. And I wouldn't push it upon many others. But it's not worth hiding it for. I'm proud. And every moment of, of adversity makes me even prouder, stronger. Because I'm creating change. I love it. And uh, I couldn't do it without very strong, very enthusiastic, and very meaningful people around me. Whether if it's in the digital online world, people who have known me pre-transition, organizations, and me.
gonna let this go, see how it recorded, and uh, get back to some work. And I hope everyone else has a good day too.